This is going to be a quick video on how to cheese the winter event. We are talking about ground RB here only. We are not talking about uh, air RB or whatever else. So let's go and check the challenges. Uh, we have uh, three points that are of interest to us. First one is gain 11 victories with high activity rate, then capture 15 points and assist allies in destroying 25 uh, enemy tanks. The plan is as follows. We are going to take the uh, R3, uh, the tank that everyone hates and loves at the same time, and we are going to play like a complete moron. First, we are going to cap a point. And we will try to drop a point uh, RT on another point that enemy is capping at this moment. And then uh, just yellow. By capping a point, we are going to fulfill the, cap the capture points uh, part of the challenge. By dropping RT, we hope to score hits. And so when enemy tanks are, are, are going to get destroyed eventually, uh, hopefully, uh, we are going to get an assist on, on them. And uh, because uh, we will just we will then go and YOLO, we can then try to score another hit. And uh, usually those games don't last very long because you are going to die very fast. And so you can pack a lot of games in a relatively short time. You should be done, if you're lucky, you should be done with all the challenges under an hour and maximum two hours. Of course, a word of advice, you are going to be a detriment to your team's chances of success and your team is not going to be uh, very happy with you. It's not a sporty thing to do and in general you should avoid doing those things. But, you know, if you, if you want another star and just can't seem to get it or it takes you a lot of time, well, it's ultimately Gaijin that designed these uh, events like that. So the ultimate blame lies with, us, with them. So without further ado, let's go to the battle and see how it works. That's not a perfect map because it's a conquest and so there is only one point so we we'll have to try and get there fast there's water so we are going to be rather slow uh, nevertheless we are going to try and capture the point and then retreat and drop party on some of enemy's position and that's the plan of course everyone is playing r3 because why not Yeah, and is going to spam EBRs, so we are like a natural uh, counter to the EBRs. So that's not completely wrong, but look at those R3s. It's crazy. Yep, people are already complaining on those R3s, and I can't blame them. I'll just try and get, get a the only tanks that we can reliably uh, expect to find in the cap circle are, are are really the EBRs and we are more than able to deal with those EBRs so right now enemies uh, dropping RT let's just not get wasted here yep exactly let's run away Simply hide and repair, and then we'll try to get uh, some hits on enemy. So there is some risk in doing this, of course, because we are not very RT resistant, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we got the point now, what we have to do is simply get the, drop the RT on enemy. We just have to find the enemy.
let's draw here. Let's see if it works. Our goal is to see the hit message. If we score the hit message, it, it means that we achieved everything we wanted for the game. And of course, we have to drive around. We can't stay in place because we need the high activity rate. Okay, it doesn't seem like we are going to hit anything. So that's not very good. It's not perfect. I can't say it's perfect. Okay, we got hit, so let's hope someone destroys this tank and we're going to get an assist this way. Okay, let's drop if RT on A. That should give us another assists. And of course, if you are a good player, you don't have to do this because you are going to get more assists and more kills during the game um, by naturally playing the game. And you might even get those like six kills in the game. So you don't need to do this and just for the end, another hit. So like there's another tank, so there's a great chance we're going to get two assists in this game. Maybe, hopefully, with a bit of luck, of course. So there is another enemy, let's just strafe him and let's hope we don't die, that's like, it's not gonna happen, we're gonna die. That's what I would assume. Yeah, we're gonna die. And just try to get, yeah, so okay, we got the score, we scored the hit. I don't know what happened, who hit us, someone hit us of course. Let's hope it backs up so we can hit him again. Yeah. Of course he can't do much to us. Take some time, unfortunately. Let's try to damage his barrel. Yes, we did it, I think. It's like another hit. We 
we should be able to pen his underside, I think. For some reason we are not able to. Okay, we're gonna die here. That's where I, that's what we are that's where we are going to die. That's the place. And we didn't get any assists, so that sucks. Now we got one assist. Okay, so we got one assist, one uh, one uh, zone captured. So that's that was all right, and that's what you need to do. Of course, uh, if you're a bit lucky, you're going to finish the battle earlier. It took us four minutes, we got high activity rate, we got one uh, assist, we got uh, one zone captured. So, and of course we lost, but if you play enough battles, you're going to get those victories. So, as you can see, it doesn't take a lot of time. You're going to fit uh, about 14 games like that in an hour. So, you need about uh, 22 to have... Uh, 11 victories with a 50% win rate so so that's how it is uh, and as i said before by playing like this you are not really helping your team that much and you shouldn't really do this uh, in general but again if you need this star and you just uh, can't get it uh, well this is the way so hope you enjoyed this video and see you in another one see ya